Someone once said, it was brain and brains, Roxy Robson wouldn't even get wet. In all of New York, they didn't come much dumber than Roxy the Weasel. To be frank, Roxy was a dope. Shoulders, the alleyway quick. He's making for burritos. Benny, cover the back. Yonkers, watch the sidewalk. Dumb as Roxy was, he could smell trouble like other people could smell gas. But he should have never taken that blind alley by the side of Perino's Bakery. Your name Robinson? Uh-huh. Roxy Robinson? Uh-huh. Also known as Roxy the Weasel? Uh-huh. The same Roxy the Weasel who works with that Sam? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever game of balls that everyone was playing, sure as eggs is eggs, Roxy Robinson had been well and truly scrambled. Now, the guy in the chair here is Flash Frank, the best lawyer in New York. Sure, he's a little shady, but he's the best. Believe me, Flash Frankie's silver tongue can get a guy to jail quicker than a truckload of dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> now, you might be wondering what's going on here. I mean, the stage is full of stiffs, and the play's not just getting started. And to be honest, I'm wondering what's going on myself. Oh, and you're probably wondering who I am. My name's Malone. Bugsy Malone. He's a sinner, candy coated. For all his friends, he always seems to be alone. But they love him, Bugsy Malone.
Don't worry, I was shampoo since the last one. That baseball bat classifies as a dangerous weapon. My mother made me have it. You're a sports nut? It's for protection, in case I get robbed. You're a singer, right? That depends on your taste in music. I'm here about a job. Did you get a job? They said come back tomorrow. They always do. What's your name, anyway? Brown. Sounds like a loaf of bread. Blousy Brown. Sounds like a stale loaf of bread. Keep your jokes behind your teeth, Wesley. Well, please leave. I'm going to along. Freeze! <laughs> Okay, everybody, it's okay. Nothing to worry about. Back to your tables. Jazz, music. I want to see everybody enjoying themselves. Free drinks from the house. It's just a little excitement, that's all. No one's saying that sounds in the library story from town. Now goes this one's trouble. Read all about it. New weapon for mobsters. New gang warfare flares. Read all about it. Read it in the rap book. Read all about it. Speakeasy tomorrow? No, I'm going to try my luck at the Beijing Theatre. The Lena Morelli show? She walked out. They're looking for a replacement. She walks out every week, and every week they have auditions, and every week she walks back again. But don't let me put you up. You won't. What do you do? Oh, this and that. Oh, crooked, huh? No, I find fighters. Boxing, in fact. I, I was a pretty good boxer myself once, too. You were? Sure, I could have been a champion. <clears throat> you could? Yeah, but for a couple of things. Like what? Like jelly legs in a glass jar. Some champion. Yeah, I do well for a couple rounds, but I was about as tough as a bar of carbon wall. This jar had about as much glass in it as Macy's window. One punch was enough to send me back to the dressing room, generally on a stretcher. And slap my face, bring out the smell and sauce, and I'd come around kidding myself as a lucky punch. But 
How many more times can it be a lucky bunch? Then I wised up. I thought my face looked like a plate of mashed potatoes. Look, buddy, in case you're wondering, I ate part of the furniture. Are you eating or are you eating? Uh, no. Well, I have two banana boozles with double ice cream and nuts and chocolate sauce, two cream Arizona donuts and a Coke with two straws. Freeze! Ah! You can't go on meeting like this. <laughs>
Welcome to the world! Yes! But I have other songs. Yeah, honey. Would you have other voices? Yes! <laughs> More people. Make sure they say it. Yeah, put a show up here. Good evening. I'm the great Marbelian, magician to the king. I'm not. I'm honored to be crowned second at this in Missouri, Hope of Luck in Nebraska. In... I will now perform your trick only seen before the crown heads of Europe. From this hat, I will now produce not one rabbit, not two rabbits, but three rabbits. Next, next! Don't quit the day job. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they'd hurry up. I get nervous waiting. Quit worrying, will you? I didn't count on this many people. <coughs> well, it looks like they're all conjurers and magicians by the look of it. You got no competition, believe me. How do I look? You look great. I look a wreck.
you dummy! Can I believe my ass? You bunch of peanut brains! Get up! Get down here pronto! Snap it up! Get your legs! We're in this direction! <laughs> Quit messing around, baby face! Quit messing them with no knuckles! Swear! Surrounded by a bunch of nervous wrecks! Right! Be nice surrounded by the lounge lizard, right? Right, boss! And we're gonna get right back on top, right? Right back on top, boss! We're gonna kick that joke, so cowboy, right into life! You, you bet, bet, boss! Sure, we can a little slow off the mark, but when it comes to the crunch, dumb bums we ain't! No, dumb bums we ain't! Now, I'm gonna tell you, knuckleheads, where you're going wrong. Louis, stand against the wall. Who? Me, boss? Are you shaked down, Louis? Sure I am, boss. Are you the same Shakedown Louis who used to be Harvey Schmingdecker before I gave you the name Shakedown Louis? That's me, boss. Then stand against the wall, porridge brain! Babyface, hand me a pie. A pie, boss? What did you do wrong? Talk to me, boss. Tell me what I did wrong. You did nothing, Louis. <coughs> nothing. See? Miss, sit back down, now, Louis. See, even a dumb mug like Louis is too quick for us. That's the root of our troubles. We're behind the times. I don't get it, boss. <sighs> Knuckles. We're never going to get back on top with this kind of hardware. It's old-fashioned, defunct. In short, we've got to get ourselves up good. Hello, Sam. Yes, Doc Gavin. I look at you. Spill shade, spill. You know how On East 40th Street? Thanks, Shady. I'll see you're okay. Good boy. I'll be sending my boys. This is good news. <coughs> Come on,
He swapped out all of my hoods. Just you and me and our drivers. Agreed. Got it, Miss Olavi. <laughs>
What's he? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. He's crazy. <laughs> See? <laughs> now, Lily, get behind the tree. Wait until I give you the okay. Sam! So, what can I do for you? I want to do a small job to straight talk, yeah? So, to me, you can take a liberty, Sam. I've been taken. What's mine? Trouble is, it belongs to me. Too bad. Possession ain't nine tenths of the law, Sam. Now, hang on, Dan. I'm sure we can talk these old sensibly. I mean, we've been in this game now a long time, just you and me. After all, I have a business man. You're a dime that doesn't gangster, Sam. Now, buddy, no business, you I don't like your man. You would slit your own throat for two bits plus tax. Keep you, well, I'd have some respect. Keep talking. Keep your tracks behind your teeth, mister. Your position ain't worth a plenty nickel. Do you right there? You've been watching too many movies, Sam. Okay, Lily, let him have it! Sure, there's Benny Lee. Quick, it's a double cross! We must scare all this guy here. Gee, thanks, Mr. Cattle. Go, bud. Go treat yourself. Buy a new suit. Get rid of that laundry sack you wear. <laughs> I will. He's an my tailor. Thanks, Mr. Cattle. Think nothing of it. Right now, let's get out of here. Thank you. 
8,000. Bucks. Where are you? Oh, around. Listen, I can't talk right now, but I just made 200 bucks. You mean you put it yourself? No, I earned it. Swear to God. Doing what? Oh, listen, that. Who for? Fat Sam. Fat Sam gave you 200 dollars? And the loan of the sedan for the afternoon. I don't believe you. You're putting me on. Look, just get yourself outside the Grand Slam in 10 minutes. I look for the snatch sedan with a good looking driver, and you'll find there's a very close resemblance to your children. Okay, but you better not be putting me on, Buster. Cross my heart, it's on the level. So long. Lazzy? Sort of. I'm giving up, guys. They're nothing but trouble. <coughs> Believe me, from now on, I'm looking for husbands. And I ain't getting too attached. I'm gonna change him regular, like Lazzy. <laughs> hey, don't think I'm a cute. Only thing I'm stressed, is he? I don't know, it's... Come on, darling, what do you think? Well, I don't know, Bengals, make the curls wrong. Purple's my colour, I always wear purple. Yeah, match the veins in your legs. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, two hundred dollars, less ninety cents. It sure wasn't enough for you to help me like that. Oh, uh, it's nothing. You must be a boxer, right? No. Nope. You're not, but that's the best punch I've ever seen. It's nothing. You have been coached? No. Nope. You ever thought of taking up? I mean, professionally. Never thought about it. Why not? Never had a chance. I know someone who could help you. You know Cage Joe? No. Nope. You know Slugger's Jim? No. Nope. You don't know much, do you? Well, put it there, uh... Leroy. Well, put it there, Leroy. You got yourself a manager. Smith, I mean Cage Joe. I've been in the ring before, boy? Nope. So you want to be a fighter, huh? Uh, nope. Sure he does. <laughs> Look at those fists. I mean, have you ever seen such shiller laughs? Hit it, Leroy. What's your name again, Phil? Leroy Smith. I mean, you've shown him the ropes, Cage Joe. He could be a champion in no time. Okay, I'll give him a try, but don't tell him now. He'll be no good unless he's got it. It? What's it? It is the difference between being a no hopper slugger and being a champion. Lousy? It's you, Tora. 
What are you doing here? Put your back stones, Hagrid. Else you'll take off. I've got a message for you. So, what's wrong with Western Union? Don't fly yourself, Tiger. It's from the sound, not me. Come on, you better get going before you suspend about strangled you. I'm waiting for someone. You are? For Blouse. We're going to Hollywood. Well, you know what they say. Don't pack anything you can't put on the train home. Come on, we better get going. Fine, I'll be right there. They walk in the streets. <sighs> He's 200 green ones, and an extra 200 if you'll. Uh, if one's at your locks. Gee, thanks, Mr. Staccato. <sighs> no problem. Danny Dan takes over this place, he'll be paying the phone bill. <coughs> Hello, Blousey. Bugsy, where are you? We said 8.30 and you're an hour late. I, I know, but, but something came up. Like what? Like business. Oh yeah, with Tallulah? No, not with Tallulah, why is he? Did you get the tickets? No, not yet. Look, I told you, something's come up. Bugsy, you promised me, you promised me. I know, but this is business, Blousey. You can't wait. Hollywood can. An hour I've been waiting here, Bugsy, and when first you didn't show, I gave you the benefit of the doubt. And then I got nervous and called every poor hard dive in the phone book. They hadn't seen you, but boy, did they all know you. Get off, Tallulah! You rat! You two-timing rat!
Leroy, it's me, Bugsy. Get dressed and come meet me. Come here, crack the time away? No, this is a different kind of job. I'm tired, Bugsy. Call me back in the morning. You won't get another opportunity like this, Leroy. Uh, you be working for Fat Sam Sicato. You be hitting Danny Dammer and Hurts. There's two hundred dollars in a few. I'll do it. I thought he was on your way to the coast. It fell through. Oh, shame, turf. Mr. Sacchetto, do you think I could have my job back? Sure, honey, go right in. The more the merrier. Hi, Blousey. Did you miss the train? Hi, Blousey. What happened? You got it, you down? Hi, Blousey. How you been? <laughs> have you ever seen a bra carry a top so high? <laughs> yeah. The Statue of Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> This is a cable. It's going to take the lid off City Hall. This is the big one. The big, the big one. one. The shakedown. The shakedown. The payoff. The payoff. It's going to be smooth. It's going to be quick. It's going to be neat. It's going to be smooth. It's going to be quick. It's going to be... Gripping your thing, I say. You shouldn't have any trouble. Just Sam, a few dancers. <coughs> Someone else to Hollywood. Oh, sure, Bugsy. Two tickets to Hollywood. Oh, Bugsy. They're here, Bugsy. They're here. Everyone, act normal. Use it. Grab the test. Hit the ivories. Anybody who is, anybody who's who walk through that door. Fat Sam's Grand Slam. Speak easy. Always able to find you. Always able to listen. Thank you. 